Enhorabuena. Buenas noches, vamos a organizar la mesa de la Unión Simeone. Pedir la palabra y es pasar al micrófono para que puedan nuestras preguntas. Good evening, welcome to the press conference. There'll be a roving microphone going around for people who want to ask a question. Hola, Isa Suárez de Marca. Bueno, eh, tercera semifinal en, en cuatro años. ¿Qué le dice eso y si le pone más contento eso o la manera en, de conseguirlo? Um, so, here we are, third semifinal in four years. Are you more happy about that or the way in which you played to achieve it? Me viene emoción. Me viene orgullo, me viene emoción, eh, perdón, ilusión. Eh, posiblemente después del partido que fue muy duro, donde obviamente el rival le da gusto verlo competir, no baja los brazos nunca, siempre pelea hasta el final, no estuvo en vilo toda la noche y, y te olvidas un poco de, de la situación concreta que es estar una vez más en semifinales de Champions. Seguramente con los días lo bajará mucho mejor y hoy nos queda la satisfacción de, de poder competir poder competir el primer día que llegué al club mi única ilusión era ser un atlético de madrid competitivo y que molestara en todos los ámbitos de las competencias que jugara y creo que estamos compitiendo well, first and foremost I'm full of emotion, uh, I'm full of uh, pride at the performance of my team, uh, I'm full of hope and excitement as, as we progress further in the competition. However, first and foremost, I also have to say what a great performance from our competitors from, our, uh, from Leicester tonight. You know, it was almost a pleasure to compete against them, you know, they never gave up for one minute, they didn't let their heads drop. They made it, you know, we were living in fear all night of what they might achieve as they were coming forward. So they, they, they put in a fantastic performance and pushed us all the way. When we get time to look back and think uh, sort of concretely, the, 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 the fact of the matter is we're in the semi-finals again and that's fantastic. But just looking back on the first day I arrived at the club, uh, I said that my desire was to make uh, Atletico de Madrid competitive. And I wanted to make life hard for every team that we played against. And I think, you know, it's good, it's satisfying to say now we are a competitive outfit. Hola, mister. Aquí. Buenas noches, enhorabuena. Eh, dices que tu único objetivo era crear un equipo competitivo, pero los números dicen que es la tercera semifinal en cuatro años. Eh, son dos finales en estos últimos tres. Eh, ¿Crees que al Atlético se le puede considerar ya un equipo grande de Europa? Es decir, uno que... Se le espera siempre a estas alturas de competición. Gracias. You say that your your first main objective was to make uh, Atlético a competitive side, but you know, let's look at the stats. They speak for themselves. Uh, these three semi-finals that we've just uh, spoken about, two finals in that period as well. You know, are you are you on the verge of making Atlético into one of the greats? You know, a, a team that you kind of always expect to be getting to semi-finals and finals all the time. Bueno, grandes creo que son los Bayern Múnich, los Barcelona, los Real Madrid, eh, sobre todo en cuanto a lo económico. Eh, nosotros en lo deportivo somos un equipo competitivo, no me llamaría un equipo grande. Y entiendan la palabra, porque si no empiezan a poner los títulos, no somos un equipo grande. Somos un equipo competitivo, seguro. Um, when you're talking about the greats of Europe, you, I think you have to put a bit of an economic, a financial slant on things. So I would say that greats, in the sense that you're talking about, a Bayern Munich, a Real Madrid, a Barca, but as I say, but on the, from the sporting aspect, from a purely sporting point of view, a football point of view, if you like, uh, I'd like to think that you know we can compete, as I say, and we are competitive. Uh, before you say the headlines and say, I said this, we aren't a great side. I mean, in that sense, we're not one of the greats in that sense. But what we are is a team that competes. Hola, Jorge Pérez, la Agencia F. Hemos visto como el Leicester en la segunda mitad cambió defensa de tres, entrando mucho con Chilwell por izquierda. ¿Te sorprendió un poco este cambio del Leicester y cómo intentaste pararlo tú? We noticed that in the second half, um, Leicester went to a back three. They brought on Chilwell to cause problems down the left-hand side. Did that surprise you in any way? And having said that, what did you do to, to combat that? I think the changes of the entrenador of Leicester were fantastic in terms of the possibility of Konujoa to fill the center of the area with Bardi giving him a turn around with Mares, the bandas very well occupied to get the center continuously. 
Creo que en el arranque del segundo tiempo tuvimos una situación muy clara para romper el partido definitivamente con Griezmann y Carrasco. Y a partir del gol, obviamente, ellos insistieron mucho más. Considero que tardé un, un tiempo en, en acomodar la defensa. Me parece que cuando después pasamos a estar con Xavi, Jiménez, Godín y Lucas, estábamos mejor que con Xavi, Godín, Lucas y Felipe. Y, y cuando se reacomodó el equipo, creo que o cuando reacomodamos esa, esa situación, creo que ya lo manejamos mejor las posibilidades de peligro que, que ellos asomaban. I think that um, the changes that the Leicester manager made were fantastic. They, they really changed the second half. Albeit we did have a chance uh, between Griezmann and Carrasco to maybe finish things off early in the second half. Then came the goal uh, of Leicester. I think what they did superbly well when they went to a three, they managed to get lots of people down the sides, down the wings, uh, and they filled the spaces down the sides in, to, in order to get the ball in high. Lots of crosses to Ojoa, and he did a great job causing problems in the penalty area as well. I think that maybe the defence that I ended up with was probably more efficient to combat that form of Leicester attack than the one I started the second half with, uh, and I think the changes maybe helped us. It took a while for the defence to to assimilate what we wanted to do to combat that latest threat, but I think we managed it as the game went on. Aquí, ¿qué tal, Diego? Enhorabuena. Eh, hay un momento en el que se lesiona Juan Fran, parece que es un contratiempo, te, te obliga a cambiar esos cambios que decías tú. Eh, cuando hablas de carácter competitivo, lo que más te gusta de tu equipo es cuando recibe golpes, en forma en este caso, por ejemplo, de lesiones, cómo se levanta, eso es lo que más destacarías. Um, obviously we were suffering a little bit where we had uh, undergone a couple of injuries. Juan Fan, for example, he's got a tight calf, uh, sorry, like, um, a quad. Um, is the thing that really you like about this team is that when we suffer blows, like injuries, for example, in this game, we, we respond. Uh, and we respond in a positive manner. Sobre todo como se reinventa, sobre todo como sigue compitiendo aún en las situaciones comprometidas. Sobre todo como Jiménez juega en la mitad de la cancha y fue uno de los mejores del partido, cuando posiblemente muchos cuando vieron la posición de Jiménez en el campo se preguntaban por qué. Y Jiménez hizo un partido que necesitaba el equipo y el equipo hizo un partido que necesitaba la eliminatoria. Entonces eso sí es lo que me pone orgulloso por los futbolistas que tenemos es muy, muy difícil como entrenador la verdad eh, seguir a, alabando todo su esfuerzo porque sinceramente es magnífico I think that uh, what we managed to do was almost reinvent ourselves during the game. Uh, we were in, in, involved in a tough situation and I think one thing that really pleased me was the way in which Jimenez came on and he, he operated in the, mil in the middle of the park, midfield if you like, whereas normally people wouldn't have expected him to be performing there. I think what I would say is that we performed in the way that this match needed us to perform, the tie it's overall. And the way in which the, we responded, that's what makes me proud of, of our lads and, and, and the way that the team responded. Uh, we always kind of come up with a solution. Um, you know, I, I could go on and on praising. I don't like to praise too much, but certainly I think today we did respond and we played in which we needed, the way in which we needed to. Hola, mister. Enhorabuena. Y quería preguntar si, si vas a ganar la Champions con el Atlético, uh, ¿consideraría tu experiencia en Madrid acabada? I'd like to ask that if you were to win the Champions League this season with Atleti, would you consider that that would be your experience finished in Madrid? No entendí la del final. Si, si logras de, de ganar la, la Champions con el Atlético, si vas a considerar esta experiencia como acabada, como, como se dice. No sé. Over. Eh, <laughs> la carrera terminada en, en, en el Atlético, sí. sí. Estamos como pensando en el español. We're thinking in Spanish. No, en el español el equipo jugamos el sábado. Ah, sí, yeah, sorry, we're focusing on... Uh, ah, sí, sí. Y hablando castellano también. <laughs> okay. Um, no, we, we, we're only, only thing on my mind is uh, Espanol, the team, not the language. <laughs> Hello, um, congratulations. And um, what do you think it will take to finally win the competition after coming short so many times now? And does coming here to Leicester and experiencing this give you the hunger to want to come to manage in England. Bueno, primera enhorabuena. ¿Cuál será, primera pregunta es, cuál será la cosa extra, el plus que, que os va a llevar a ganar, el paso extra para ganar la Champions? Y, sorry, last, last bit about Leicester. Uh, y que la ha impresionado venir aquí, ha escogido más, uh, no sé, sí, sí, uh, sí, más sí. deseo, más, más ganas, más ilusión después de haber eh, clasificado. Eh, 
A ver, eh, primero lo que me llevo de, una, de, de esta noche, una noche de fútbol total, como lo habíamos previsto en, en, las, en, la, en las charlas previas, en las conferencias. Noche de fútbol total, un ambiente maravilloso, un equipo que pelea hasta el final. Una, seguramente la gente que lo vio por televisión al partido era apasionante, con el, siempre el riesgo y el, la posibilidad de un gol de Leicester, un, un gol de contragolpe nuestro. Y esas son las noches que, que llenan de fútbol a la gente. Y en cuanto a cómo seguir, nosotros tenemos un camino solo que es insistir, 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 insistir y seguir insistiendo. Ok, first thing, my, my first impression of tonight is that we've seen an absolutely fantastic game of football. You know, I think it's lived up to all the expectations. Everything that we said in the pre-match press conferences yesterday, both teams have lived up to that. It's been a marvellous game, you know. Both teams, Leicester have fought as hard as they possibly could. We have, we've seen passion out there, teams taking a risk, end-to-end -end football, you know, one team nearly scoring, then the other team on the counter-attack going down the other end. And I think it's, any, any football fan tonight will be filled with emotion at what they've seen. But in terms of the, the way forward for ourselves, we're just going to keep trying and trying and insisting and trying and keeping going. Trying. Buenas noches, eh, Cholo. Eh, está claro que ya lo de Jiménez no es una solución de emergencia. Quisiera que profundizases en eso. ¿Podemos considerarle ya tan mediocampista como defensa? Um, the fact that Jiménez did so well, you just referred to in the middle of the park, is, is that something that might not just be an emergency measure? It might be something that he could be almost considered a midfielder rather than a defender. A ver, él, él es central. Él es, su posición natural es de central y lo seguirá haciendo, porque es un grandísimo central, como siempre he dicho, tenemos cuatro centrales fantásticos. Ahora, te puedo asegurar que me da mucha alegría el partido de hoy de él, porque lo trabajamos, porque nos quedamos muchos entrenamientos hablando con él, porque hemos mirado un montón de situaciones para poder permitirnos la posibilidad de, de contar con Jiménez en el medio. Este año hemos sufri sufrido muchísimo la ausencia de Augusto y de Saúl en la mitad de la cancha, y hemos estado siempre buscando alternativas porque Gaby, Saúl, Coque han jugado casi todos los partidos del año y Jiménez nos ha dado en distintos momentos para partidos especiales su capacidad de trabajo en el medio, su juego aéreo, su buena salida de pelota. Y hoy me pone muy contento, me pone muy contento porque cuando los tipos trabajan, cuando los tipos se esfuerzan, cuando los jugadores quieren, las cosas salen bien. Y él hoy estaba dispuesto a hacerlo bien. Um... I'm really, really happy the way it's worked out. I've always said, but I will always continue to say, and I've said in the past, he is a centre-back. Uh, Jimenez is a centre-back, and I'm happy that we can count on four great centre-backs at this club. But I'm also very happy that it's worked, as I say, when he moved into midfield, because we've worked on it in training, we've spoken about it to the player, and I'm just happy that we are allowed the possibility on occasions in certain matches, particularly because we've, we've, we've suffered the absence of Augusto throughout the season, and it's a lot of games, a lot of game time for people like Gabi, Saul and Koke, who've played in almost every encounter this season. So in certain games, I know that we can uh, have the possibility of putting Jimenez in, in the middle of the park. And what's great is that players are willing to do this, are willing to try hard and try new things, and the main thing is that the player wanted it and desired it. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.